Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in Dota 2. Uh, you have three different ways that you can really improve your FPS in Dota 2. Uh, I will show you what you can do. So let's start with the set launch option. Let's right click on the game, click properties, set launch option. And you have a lot of different set launch options that you can put in this game. So I put everything over here. Uh, I will put the, this... Um, this set launch option in the description of the video. So just copy paste it in your uh, launch option. And I will show you uh, in the description uh, what each one does uh, on uh, Steam. So that's about it for the set launch option. After that, we want to go to where you install the game. So browse lookout file, game, bin. And you want to change the to execute um, exe. Uh, the 32 bits and the 64 ones. So go to Dota 2 here, right click, and you want in the compatibility uh, section tab, uh, click override IDPI and disable full screen optimization. Click OK. Same thing with the 64 one, right click, uh, compatibility, click here, here, and OK. After that, you're done with this. Uh, we will go inside of the game. So inside of the game, uh, make sure that uh, your number of Earths is matching with your uh, screen for sure. So me, I'm playing with a 144 Earths, really important. And uh, you will see also uh, the DirectX 11 here because we put it in the uh, set launch option. If you have an AMD car, you should maybe test Vulkan because Vulkan is always running well on AMD car. Uh, the drivers are optimized for it. So you should definitely test it because I, I add like a huge increase on my Doom game. Uh, right now I have an NVIDIA, I switched my video card, but uh, definitely you should test it if you have an AMD car. Uh, also, here, rendering. So use the advanced setting, uncheck everything here, everything that you will see. Uh, a couple of stuff that you will gain a lot of FPS, honestly. World lighting, I'm getting 2 to 3 FPS. Ambient occlusion, 2 FPS. Grass, 3 win. Uh, 2 to 3 FPS for each one. So me, I'm just playing with the FX AA and TL easing, specular, normal maps, and animate portrait. For texture quality, uh, I'm playing at high because honestly, if you have like uh, a lot of uh, VRAM on your video card, uh, 3 gig and more, you can play at high. It will not change anything on your uh, um, FPS. So depending on how much VRAM you have, just select this. Effect quality, I'm playing at medium, honestly, because uh, I, I like to see some effect when I play the game. Uh, if you struggle to have your 60 FPS, for sure, go at low. But the most important one is the shadow quality. This one is pretty crazy. For each bracket, you can gain 3 to 4 FPS. So uh, just go to ultra to med, you can gain like 10 to 11 FPS. So that's pretty huge. And for me, a shadow is not something important like uh, an FPS game. Uh, in Dota 2, so uh, just remove it and you will have a nice increase for your FPS. Also, last resort, you have the game screen uh, render quality. You can use this slider here and go lower, but honestly, when you go under 90%, you will see a lot of pixel blurriness and stuff like that. So you should not use it, like test everything else, remove the anti-aliasing first, specular, normal mat, all those stuff uh, before uh, touching the render quality. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your question and your rig. So CPU, GPU, RAM. And I will try to help the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys. Peace.